Welcome everyone, this is the Marconi Symposium, which is the major event for the Marconi Society. Every year, the Marconi Prize is delivered to a personality, someone who invented a device, an algorithm, a protocol, or a system that had a great impact on the world. And uh, the symposium is the place where uh, eminent uh, speakers come, give their own view, and then the winner gives a keynote speech about his own invention. So this is what is going to happen today here in these two hours. And uh, the theme of this uh, Marconi Symposium is uh, how telecommunications are a driver for creativity and innovation and progress into society. And in fact, society has been transformed by information and communication technologies in a way which was not foreseeable and it's also impossible to go back now. We need this technology, and uh, this is part of our lives. Uh, I have a wonderful panel of speakers here. I will introduce them shortly and then afterwards when they speak. But uh, just starting on my right, we have Vince Cerf, which you have met already during the conference of these three days. Um, Constantin Baron Orange is a uh, head of cabinet of Madame Nili Kreuz, the vice president of the European Commission and he's also the Prince of the Netherlands. Uh, Gabriele Falciasecca, the President of the Fondazione Marconi. And then on his right, we have John Cioffi, who was uh, also a Marconi Fellow, he is a Marconi Fellow, and the inventor of the ADSL technology. And finally, Marty Cooper, I don't need to introduce him, as he's the honorary guest here at the table. We will start off with uh, introductory, introductory remarks by Gabriele Falciasecca. So, Gabriele, you have the floor. Thank you very much, uh, Giovanni. You see that in the program, in the program, uh, I was uh, planned uh, for the uh, closing remarks, but uh, at the end, it's very difficult to have the conclusion, so I prefer to introduce something. And, uh, well, I think that uh, it's really uh, a good uh, thing to have uh, here the uh, Marconi Symposium inside uh, the conference uh, dedicated to the creativity. We uh, have heard uh, the uh, necessity of uh, creativity and innovation, and uh, in uh, the conference, uh, uh, some speakers uh, uh, were uh, very clever in uh, uh, introducing uh, the relationship between creativity and innovation. So, in uh, the title, we see here telecommunication as a driver for innovation. So. It's very important to uh, deal with the creativity, which is the first step in order to have uh, innovation. Uh, for what concerns the creativity, uh, we have heard also many different definitions uh, of creativity. So, uh, in my mind, uh, I remind the, the word of uh, Agostino, our uh, religious uh, philosopher, in the Confessioni, Agostino says about uh, the time, oh, well, I know very well what is the time, but if you ask me, what is the time? Oh, really, I don't know. <laughs> so, uh, creativity is a word we use, uh, and is a very interesting word, but uh, I think that we have to uh, work uh, uh, to, to define more, or perhaps uh, it is not uh, really uh, definable in a proper, in a complete way. But in any case, uh, uh, I, we know that after uh, the uh, creative uh, action, we can have innovation, and we need innovation in all our activities in all our countries. Uh, there is also another interesting uh, reason to have uh, Marconi Fellows here and Marconi Symposium for 
those who are researchers in the field of creativity. Uh, uh, creativity is a matter of uh, humans, uh, not uh, <coughs> a matter of uh, nature. If you remember the words uh, by Karl Popper, great uh, philosopher of science, uh, uh, Karl Popper says about uh, the uh, uh, science of nature that we have to do some uh, crucial experiments and uh, these crucial experiments uh, are questions we pose to the nature. Usually the nature uh, answer no. If you sometimes, maybe, in a rare occasion, yes. And if the answer is yes, then we can improve our knowledge of the nature. Well, uh, I think that uh, here you have uh, in the uh, fellows uh, the equivalent of the nature for the creativity. So uh, there is a great possibility for uh, the researchers in the field of uh, creativity to, uh, to ask directly questions uh, to the creative people uh, who are, for example, the Marconi Fellows. This is a, a, a very lucky occasion. Uh, if you are, for example, uh, an entomologist uh, and your purpose is to study butterfly, you cannot discuss with the butterfly. But in this case, uh, you have the possibility to uh, discuss uh, with the fellows who are creative uh, persons. So it's a very important occasion. And I think that this discussion uh, was uh, already done in the past days, and uh, uh, in some situations we had uh, some, uh, uh, let's say, divergent opinions about creativity by our fellows. Not uh, always uh, the same idea <coughs> of uh, creativity, <coughs> sorry, and uh, what we can uh, uh, do for improved creativity. So, it's a very interesting point. Finally, <clears throat> My voice uh, says that I, I have to, to finish. Uh, finally, uh, I have to remark that uh, one other important point uh, we can do in order to study the creativity is to look uh, at the, uh, creative histories in the past. And uh, we have a man, Guglielmo Marconi, who is really a good example for, uh, let's say, finding something true or not uh, uh, if we refer to the uh, speeches we, uh, we have heard. For example, uh, in Marconi, you can see the moment of the limited but uh, sufficient exposure to the basics of electromagnetics. Without this exposure, it was not possible for uh, Guglielmo to do anything. But then there was a, a period of about two years uh, when Marconi was uh, completely closed in the lab and uh, he did an individual work, uh, perhaps against the world, since at that moment uh, the general ideas uh, were not the ideas uh, uh, Marconi tried to demonstrate true. So there was this period. And then a long period when Marconi used the context, the activity of groups, the scientific community. And this is the moment of the great innovation. Marconi in that period invented other things, not only the wireless telegraphy. Marconi was the inventor of many other important things uh, we use uh, or use in a, a transformed way. So I think that uh, uh, Marconi fellows, uh, Guglielmo Marconi, scientist, creativity, is a, a very good uh, combination. Uh, and uh, I uh, used uh, at the beginning of this conference uh, the word uh, serendipity. I hope that this uh, uh, will be a serendipity and also for uh, our future, uh, we will use this serendipity in uh, the uh, proper way, or we hope to have serendipity for the life of us and uh, of uh, uh, our 
new generation. Thank you for your attention.